In today's tech tip, we're going to talk about the interactive transform menu. The interactive transform menu can be used to move models, components, and coordinate systems within your project. It can even be used within Tool Manager to assemble tooling components. If I click on this coordinate system, we can see that we have a Create Transform Menu button. Upon clicking on this, the Transform Menu is launched and our coordinate system gnomon becomes interactive. There are four different types of interactive tools on the gnomon. The first one is the black dot indicating the origin. If I click and drag on this, I can move the coordinate system to any surface on a model or snap to a vertex or midpoint. The second interactive tool is the axis arrow. The axis arrow allows me to move the coordinate only on the selected axis. Because I have the enable translation increment feature toggled on, we can see that it's moving in eighth inch increments. The third interactive tool is the plane tool, which looks like a small square. Clicking on this allows me to move the coordinate system within the defined plane. Once again, the translation increment also applies to this tool. Lastly, we have the rotation tool. This tool allows you to rotate the coordinate system on the selected plane. Since I have the enable rotation increment feature toggled on, it rotates in five degree increments. If you happen to know the exact values you would like to move, you can type the values directly into the Translate text box. The three values represent the X, Y, and Z coordinates, separated by a space. You can also use the Rotate text box to rotate the axis. Once again, the three values represent rotation about the X, Y, and Z axes.